Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business. Today I have an eloquent query example for you, a real task, a real query that I gave to one of my junior developers. Uh, I train and mentor a few potential developers on my team. Sometimes I give them small tasks here and there if it is a clear small scope. So example is a post views database table that you're looking at right now. So views of posts by users. And the task was to get four latest viewed posts. The tricky part here is that I can view the post several times. In this case, for example, post ID 2 was viewed several times and post ID 5 was viewed several times. So in that case, the query result should be post 3, post 2, post 1, and 4. So this should be uh, cleared or grouped by. And it's not that easy to write that eloquent or SQL query. So when I gave that task, the result was this, PHP Storm. So this was the result of, of that junior developer uh, counting, getting all the posts uh, ordered by updated ad, which is okay, fine, it's the same as ID usually, uh, checking that it has posts that is not self-deleted, uh, getting that relationship with post, uh, and then doing for each in PHP, not in Eloquent or not in database anymore, just checking if the ID is not uh, is not the same, so it's not in an array, it's not in a collection, then we're pushing that record to the collection, and then after all of that, we're taking four results. Um, yeah, you can maybe laugh at that, maybe comment on that. It works, uh, it generally works, but I've seen too many examples over my years of, of developing uh, of developers, especially junior developers, just doing the query or doing a few actions like that, they get the result and they're fine with that. What happens in reality with this query, with this uh, structure? What if there are millions of views? So what if one user has viewed, I don't know, <clears throat> system is 10 years old and they viewed hundred thousands of time. What happens? Uh, it gets all hundred thousand or million entries then it goes for each through all of them and forms the array, the collection of another million. Well, it's grouped by and then it takes four. So million operations, million operations, and then to take four entries. Well, it's not exactly million operations, but I mean operation with millions of records. So that is totally not efficient and uh, it would probably break and would be a performance issue in real life system for millions of records. So that's a problem. Now let's get to solution. What's what's the solution here? How to make it better and how to make it work? So uh, we probably assume and we know that it should be one query, one eloquent or DB table or DB query uh, statement. And the tricky part here is that you have to use SQL. It's not it's not just eloquent. Uh, the basis of all the eloquent queries, all the DB queries, uh, is just SQL, well, MySQL or whatever database you prefer. So let's get to SQL Pro. SQL Pro, uh, I've prepared a query, which does exactly what we need. Uh, we're selecting user ID 1, same thing, grouping by post ID, and this is the most important part. Order by max ID. <laughs> what it does, it groups records by post, and then for every post, there will be a few records and that will be ordered by max ID. Well, it's maybe hard to explain, but uh, yeah, you can try it out. So three, two, one, and four is the result. And that is exactly what we needed. So from this, from these two uh, rows, only the latest one is taken. Uh, and this is, well, one entry, one entry per each row. Uh, if, for example, if we change that to four, Let's try it out. The result should be three, two, four, and five, right? Let's test it out from previous. Three, two, four, and five. Yep, as needed. So that's step one, how to, how to write that in SQL. Now, how to transform that to eloquent? That's step two. And there will be also step three. And I have the result here, but I will show it to you one by one. Uh, so this. So same, really similar query, the beginning of it. So where user ID has post and with post. That is fine. This is important. Selected post, select post ID is 
we need to select post ID and only post ID because it's grouping by the column. So if we select anything like that, so ID and post ID will throw an error because of group by clause, some MySQL magic. Uh, so yeah, that should be the result. So we're selecting only post ID, but we're selecting it with post. So the result will be selected post ID field with relationship uh, to post. Then we're grouping by post ID, and this is the main part, order by raw sentence. Not sure if you know this, but in Eloquent you can do not only order by, but order by raw, and this in this case we're ordering by whatever we need. Then we take four, so instead of this thing, after everything taking four, we're just limiting results to four, and then we're doing get. And this is uh, the final part, the part three, as I said, we need, in this result, uh, the task is to get the posts, not the post IDs. Uh, so in the first result by junior developer, the result was correct. It was actually the object of posts, not the views. So we need to transform that somehow. And here we have a collection, eloquent collection, or actually Laravel collection function uh, called map, uh, which does mapping. Basically, it's the same as for each, really similar. So doing for each through all those objects and then transforming it to whatever we want. So item post is exactly what contains the post uh, and this would be the actual result of that query. So instead of three operations, getting the records for doing for each and then taking them, we do that all in one query. Uh, and I thought in general, as, as a final note on this uh, video, I thought that writing eloquent queries is probably the most tricky part of uh, junior developer path because it's not documented like that anywhere, it's just bits and pieces here and there so you have to stick it all together and try to write efficient queries then debug them with debug bar uh, and uh, basically deliver the results. So I'm thinking, was it interested for, interesting for you, should I uh, shoot more videos like this with practical examples or maybe shoot a course just specifically on that on writing efficient select queries with things like group by and from more uh, difficult structures. If so, then write in the comments on YouTube video and yeah, see you in the next videos.